The hit franchise Five Nights at Freddy's has been a massive success around the world, but over the years FNAF has grown a reputation of hatred, anger, and of course, controversy. But the franchise wasn't always like this. FNAF was Scott's last Hail Mary at becoming a game developer, and the game blew up because of the gameplay, scariness, and most notably the community and the lore. YouTubers such as Markiplier, Mappat, and Darko also helped in the success of the franchise. Despite the franchise being a cheap Hail Mary, it was filled with tons of easter eggs and lore, and that is why the fans loved the game so much. Many theorizers were determined to solve the mysteries of the games, so they bonded together to try and solve the mysteries of FNAF. And this was during a time where the theories were least constructed, and some of these theories were being stretched as far as comparing the events of the games to a real life murder case which MatPat made a whole video about. No matter the quality of the theories, it binded the community together, good or bad. You can even say that the theories were Scott's motivation to keep making games under the same title. So he kept making more and more games, and each time a game released, the bigger and stronger the fandom got. But as the fandom got bigger, controversy followed. And every time a new game was released, there was one main question that was being asked. Was Scott overdoing it? After Pizzeria Simulator, there was no need to continue the story. FNAF 3 was supposed to be Scott's final FNAF game, so he hyped us up for it. But when the game was released, it wasn't received too well. Many fans were divided and had mixed opinions on the game. Some fans said Springtrap's jump scare wasn't scary, and some fans were saying the jump scare was just fine. But as we all know, FNAF 3 wasn't the final FNAF game, because FNAF 4 released a few months after the release date of FNAF 3. After FNAF 4 and Sister Location, the franchise had a low profile in terms of controversy. But then FNAF World was released. FNAF World was released on Steam for $10, and the game was highly anticipated as it was the first non-horror FNAF game. But when the game came out, it was terribly received. Scott had to change the map into a 2D interface just to accommodate for the tight schedule he put himself on in order to crank the game out on time. The 2D style gameplay looked cheap to many fans, including myself. So Scott stepped in with all the negative reception and took the blame. He removed FNAF World from Steam and redid the game, and then re-released it onto Game Jolt for free. This completely flipped the direction of the game's reputation, and the fandom went back to loving Scott and the franchise. FNAF laid pretty low after the release of a few more games, most notably FNAF Pizzeria Simulator, which is deemed to be the best FNAF game to this day. So this kind of puts to rest to that crowd saying that FNAF should have ended years ago. But then, Scott Cawthon retired. Scott undeniably made a lot of money from this franchise. In June of 2021, Scott became a trending topic on Twitter when his political donations were shared on the platform, and states that he made significant financial donations to conservative political candidates. He claimed that he had been doxxed and received threats of violence and home invasion after the donations were uncovered. There was a large group of people who generally felt attacked by these donations, people part of the LGBTQ, which these people take up a large part of the FNAF community. Scott was constantly getting attacked for these donations, and his family was threatened and he was threatened as well. Soon following these threats, Scott officially announced that he was retiring from FNAF forever. He wasn't taking a break, he wasn't going on vacation, he was fully retiring from FNAF. FNAF will have to live on without Scott by its side, and Scott's retirement put a permanent divide between the FNAF fans. There is one side of FNAF fans that support Scott, and the other side of FNAF fans that doesn't support Scott. In my overall opinion, I think this cancellation was pretty stupid. There was no need for it, there was no need for him getting doxxed, and there was no need for his family getting threatened. A few months after Scott's retirement, the game Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach was released under the company named Steel Wool. This game was highly anticipated since it was the first FNAF game without Scott, and it was also the first FNAF free roaming game. The game was delayed a few times and it was eventually released on PlayStation and Steam, and it was the worst reception of all time. Security Breach was deemed as the worst FNAF game. People absolutely hated the game because of how rushed it was and all the bugs that came with it. Many fans said the story was way too confusing and it felt rather unfinished. Without Scott's authority, the story felt very disconnected. This caused a lot of fans, including myself, to doubt the state of FNAF. At this point, FNAF has been at its greatest scale because everyone started attacking each other. People were saying that the new game sucks, or Scott shouldn't have left, or the franchise was completely over. After Security Breach, the controversies died down a little bit. But of course, it didn't stay that way. Because the most recent and biggest controversy was Kane Carter versus... You know who. In short, Theft King made a video questioning the future of the FNAF fanverse, then soon after Sheep Rampage made a video under the same topic, then Kane Carter made a Twitter post giving us reasons as to why the FNAF fanverse isn't dead, 
yada yada yada, and then Kane Carter and Theft King eventually went back and forth at each other. If you guys want a more in-depth description about what happened, I will leave Sheep Rampage's video in the description, so go check it out. So in short, the whole reason as to why FNAF is so controversial is because we are so divided. So let's stop the hate and bring back what made FNAF so special when it first started. 